when that finger got shot. That's my ring finger, you know. I thought, oh God, is that some kind of sign? <laughs> my grandmother gave me the first little white Bible I'd ever seen. And Big Mama went to heaven when I, in 1964. And she gave me this, she gave me the Bible, a beautiful white Bible. And she said, I want you to get married with this Bible. I said, you're kidding. She said, no, I want you to get married with it. It was a white Bible with a little gold print in the little, you know, zipper. And so she said, but I'm going to keep it for you until you get married. She died in 64 and they buried her with it. Now that's the truth. <laughs> that's the truth. I, ho I hope there's no spiritual significance to that. I mean, I go to visit my, to see my grandmother's body in this confident I'm just blubbering I'm just my little heart is broken I was her favorite she only had six grandkids because my mother's her only daughter and I was just crying and I looked and I saw that Bible I thought oh my god don't bury the woman with my marriage Bible I'd like to introduce somebody very special to you today Miss uh, Gina Gauthier. Gauthier you could say from uh, New Orleans is up visiting for the weekend is our guest uh, with the Vinettes who introduced her to us and uh, uh, some of you met her on the ground yesterday she's a very lovely lady loves God and we're very happy to have her in the area stand up Gina would you would you give her a nice warm welcome this morning isn't she lovely isn't she <laughs> I'm going to get married. <laughs> Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 22 says this, He who finds a wife, lift up your hands and tell him thank you. <laughs> he who finds a wife <laughs> finds what is good and receives favor from the Lord. I am not forced to marry. I'm not marrying under compulsion. It's not that I don't have control of my body. But I am losing control of my body, and so I felt I should follow through. <laughs> well, the Bible says it's better to marry than to burn with passion. Now, I'm not... It's hot as some people think, but I smell some smoke, so I believe. <laughs> I just want to go in and obey God. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Would you meet Gina Marie Gauthier? Ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand and receive Miss Gina Marie Gauthier. This is the scripture that the family has chosen, and let me paraphrase it, please. His mother's name was Gina. She was from Louisiana. <laughs> Julian did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, just as his father Carlton had done. <laughs> Julian sought God through the ministry of prophecy, and was instructed in the fear and respect of God. As long as Julian seeks the Lord, God will give him success. Yes. <laughs> Majesty Amor, as a man of God and a close friend of your parents and of your little brother, I lay the word of God upon you as a covering from heaven during your days upon this earth. 
we try to encourage our children to be uniquely who they are. That's how God does with us. Majesty is a very mild and charming and quiet little girl. She ministers to me. Her personality is different from that of mine, unlike Julian, who's making it happen and demanding it to get done and be done and make it happen. That's his choleric personality. I'm learning how to flow. I can't deny that he's his father's son. But that's how God embraces us uniquely as he designed us to be.